According to the latest census, it is estimated that there are over 400,000 Iraq and Afghanistan war veterans currently living in the United States. During this election year, I thought it would be a good idea to interview a few of these vets about their thoughts on politics and the most popular issues. Jennifer Gray served almost a year in Afghanistan during 2006. She is a self-proclaimed grunt, and her time in the military has greatly influenced her political opinion. Please state your full name. Jennifer Michelle Gray. Okay. And where and when did you serve in the military? I was in the Army from uh, January 25th of 05 until March 13th of 07. I served with Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan from March 6th of 06 and got home on Thanksgiving Day of that year, 06. Okay. So you served in Afghanistan? Yes. What was that like? <laughs> I've always wondered what I would say. It's just very dusty. Um, well, that's a pretty broad question. Do you want to know okay. what daily life was like for me as a cook? Or, like, I, um, what, can you be a little more specific? How did you feel about the President of the United States while you were serving in Afghanistan? While I was serving in Afghanistan, I had absolutely no opinion about the President of the United States because at the time he was still my boss and I had signed away, I signed away my right to have an opinion about him. As a civilian now, though, uh, I think he's one of the biggest idiots I've ever seen in my entire life, and I'm very glad he's on his way out the door. Mm -hmm. um, uh, do you plan on voting in the upcoming election? Yes. Okay. And uh, how does your um, service or... Um, uh, how much effect does uh, your time in the service have on... It had an immense effect on me in that regard. I look at things so much more differently than I ever did before I served, especially before I deployed. I have I have a sense of loyalty to anyone or anything, and now I do. I'm, I'm, I'm not a soldier per se, but I understand a lot of a lot deeper things now, and uh, it really did a lot to broaden my perspective so my views change as far as you know who I would vote for who I wouldn't or why okay um, back to your um, service in Afghanistan um, what was it like being in another country especially a country as foreign as that it was scary as hell man I was surrounded by people that wanted to kill me yeah every single one of us that was out there was even the people who lived there you know um, uh -huh. <laughs> It was terrifying. It really was. But after a while, it just, you know, you got we got used to it. And it's like, you don't really think about too much what's going on around you. You just try to focus on doing your job and getting the next thing that's right in front of you done. Mm -hmm. You know, and you don't really think about it until the mortars start hitting. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, that even becomes so commonplace to hear mortars. You know, you could tell by the... the uh, you could tell by the sound what mm -hmm. it, whether it was incoming or outgoing and when to panic and when to just, you know, continue on your way. You know, it was just, there was always gunfire in the background. I mean, you know, it was creepy. It was very scary. But you get, you, but you just get so used to it because that's all there is around you. Yeah, especially so. um, being in such a foreign land. Mm -hmm. um, how did the uh, native uh, culture over there, um, what did you see about that? Um, what did you notice about um, the Afghani people in general? The men are very expressive toward each other, and that really freaked out the Americans a lot. They're just a very uh, expressive in a physical sense. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing out of the ordinary to see two men walking around hand in hand. But it doesn't mean they're lovers per se. It just means they're close friends or they're family. They 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 kiss each other, you know. And granted, there is a lot of uh, there is a lot of man love going on over there. You know, I had video clips even of some sheep, lonely sheep herders getting after their flock, literally taken from mm -hmm. the air in, in the Air Force cameras. You know, all kinds of stuff went on out there. And the only time, uh, the women never worked. Uh, they stayed at home and were basically the breeding machines. And uh, rolling through some of the small towns, you know, they'd always come on, like, they'd, they'd hide their faces and stuff when we drove by in convoys. And, uh... But they always had their hair covered uh, from the tiniest little children to the oldest woman had her hair covered all the time. Uh, there's a... 
I don't know, there's a very communal spirit. It's very communal. Jennifer Gray has decided against re-enlistment and she is currently continuing her education at Austin Community College.